everyone in this video we are diving into one of the most powerful and pythonic tools the list comprehensions if you have been writing the loops to create the list this will blow your mind because this is good to go great to go and best to go so let's get started with our vs code as usual i will create a file by the name list comprehensions comprehensions dot py over here here i will explain you what is list comprehension basically list comprehension is short and elegant way uh, to create a list using a single line of code basically elegant way to create a list using a single line of code okay we can create a list using a single line of code you will think that we can create a list using single line of code by like list one two three four okay fine this is it but what if i want to create a list of uh, the squares of the elements in this list now i will have to use for i will have to use uh, i will have to create the list firstly like this is an empty list i will create this as empty list and then i will run a loop for uh, i n for i n list and then it will uh, do append squares dot append dot append and it will append like i multiply i multiply i and then i will print squares or there can be a bigger operation also like this is a very basic one you can see the squares has been in the squares list r149 and 16 what if i i say that this line of code can be done in one line only this can be done in one line only we can use this like we can do this like uh i multiply i for i n list that's it that's it you can see this output is same that's it you can see the output is same so this is how the list comprehensions works i will explain you again this was just a demo so basically the syntax of uh, syntax of list comprehensions is uh, uh, like uh, we are using expression over here we will use expression over here then we can use for loop and then we will use item for an iterable any kind of list tuple any kind of data type and if condition if there is if condition over there like i will explain you with the example also so firstly moving with a uh, very basic example like squaring i have explained now we will move again ahead like if we want to keep only the even squares i will firstly again create the list as 1 2 3 4 4 okay now i will have even squares list even squares list what will i do i will make a empty no 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 i will not make empty list this time because i will write this code by using the list comprehensions in which we can create a list in a short and elegant way using a single line of code only i have created a even squares list basically and now in this i will write the code Mm, I will write i for i n list. It will take one element, one element in i. Like first time, it will take i equal to one, then i equal to two, then i equal to three, and then i equal to four. If we'll use if condition because we are taking even squares. If i divided by two, or we can say if remainder of i when it is divided by 2 double equals to 0 means it is checking it will take only the elements which are even right now what if i am printing the even squares so even squares it should 4 and 16 2 and 4 is only there why 2 and 4 is only there because we were just printing for i and list if uh, and the condition satisfies then we are just printing i over here it is not printing the squares 
so we have to write i multiply i it was my mistake now you can see that the answer is 4 and 16 which we were expecting so this is the use case of if condition over here now you are you're thinking that uh, how we can use it in uh, strings also we can use it in strings also basically right how we will use it in strings uh, we will firstly uh, I will give I'm giving you the example like if I create a words list in which I will uh, take Python and then flask and then AI basically let's say AI it's over there now I want a list of upper words upper words upper case letters so I will just uh, do list comprehension I will create a list of uppercase only it will just give me the uh, word dot upper word dot upper and for the word then words right and I will just print upper words over here and if I run this code you can see built-in method upper of string object at this is this okay 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 it is giving me the address only right now so if I do list but it should give me the list I don't know why it is raising the error but built-in method upper of string object at this address built-in method upper of string object at this address okay built-in method of power of string object is at this address it is doing so because we have used the upper function in a wrong way we should use double brackets over here now it is giving the correct output you can see all the elements are in the upper case so now you are thinking that how we can use the nested loop while thing in this case right so uh, we can use nested loops too by using the list comprehensions uh, we will uh, write again four over here to use the nested loop condition I will give you the example I will, you, I will give you the example like let's say we have a matrix we will create a matrix and this matrix we have 1 and 2 and then uh, 3 and 4 and then uh, 5 and 6 fine so this is a matrix and in the matrix and it is a 2D matrix right and then this 2D matrix if I want to make this matrix flat means all the elements in a single list 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it so what will I do I will just iterate one and one element basically uh, if we wanted to do it in a normal way we have to use a nested loop like 4 in this one and 4 in this one but in this way I will just use one uh, single sentence like 4 row and matrix for row in matrix and for num and row it will take each element and then if I am printing flat over here you can see that it is taking the old elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 basically what it did is like it checked uh, it is working as same as if I write the code as for row in matrix means in each element in each row each row is containing each element like first one is containing 1 and 2 and if I am doing 4 uh, num and row then what it is containing like in first iteration it will take row uh, for num equal to 1 and then I am doing uh, flat dot append flat dot append uh, or num but it will going to append it will append one it will append one in flat list so the both the statements are uh, cool but uh, list comprehensions is used basically to write a single liner code and uh, basically if I am if I will summarize list comprehensions the list comprehensions makes the code shorter cleaner and the faster you can use them with conditions loops and expressions kind of things and it's great for data pre-processing and filtering the data and transformation and that's a wrap on list comprehensions in the next tutorial we will look at closures in python uh, or many more concepts ahead in python tutorial series so that's it for this video i hope you understand the concept of list comprehensions 
and see you in the next video thanks for watching this video too patiently see you in the next video guys till then bye bye